Hey guys, today we've got a Hyundai i30 2008 model, uh, just standard 2 litre petrol, it's come in for an engine light. So we're going to fire up the Verus and uh, see what codes we get and determine what to do from there. Australian 2008 I30 2 litre okay. We're not going to bother doing everything so let's just go into engine See what we come up with for engine Fuel trims are the main issue here. A um, couple of those other things, oh, I did play around with some connectors under the bonnet before because I've already had a look at this anyway. Um, but um, the fuel trims are the main issue. So let's just, what we'll do is we'll go back out and we'll go check some live data. See what's going on. Little custom list, get rid of all this. Let's just go for Go for fuel trims. I'm not worried about anything else actually. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, where are my short-term fuel trims? Alright, this is not looking good. I actually don't find them, so I'm not sure... Interesting. Does not appear to be here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out of this and I'm going to go to generic OBD. So let's get out of that. OBD direct. Get out of that deselect all. Well, let's get four fuel system one so we know if we're open or closed. Let's go for intake map. Don't worry about barrow long term. Let's go for O2 sensor voltage and some one sensor two. And that's it. Let's get a look at that. Okay, as we can see. Sensor 2, normal. Sensor 1, fully rich. Short term fuel trims, absolutely maxed out, fully rich. So we know there's a rich condition here. So let's go out and have a look at this. So the first thing I did when I came out here was realize it wasn't a mass airflow sensor car, it was a map sensor car. And we know with mass airflow sensor cars that if you've got an intake leak or if you've got a vacuum leak at idle, the short-term fuel trims will go high to add fuel because it was running lean. We know that with a map sensor car, it can be the opposite. Losing vacuum would lose a reading on the map sensor. The engine would be thinking it would be getting more air, so it would be putting more fuel in. So straight away, that amount at idle, be thinking to myself, we've got a, a, a possibly a vacuum leak. So before I get the smoke tester out, simple check, two seconds, these puppies 
block off all the hoses around because we know there's common faults with these things and see what we find. So I'll keep an eye up here for you. You keep an eye on those fuel trims. Clamping off that one makes no difference. Let's go for the purge valve. Hang on two seconds, let's go for the purge valve. There we go. Purge valve blocked off. And look at those fuel trims come back to normal. Oxygen sensor starting to oscillate normally. Fuel trim numbers coming down. I've just got the purge valve blocked off down here. You can see my yellow, little yellow pliers down there. Look at that. Coming right down. We know there's an issue going on here. This purge valve looks like it's stuck open. I'm going to leave the crimp tool on it and see if we can get the trims down to zero. The crimp tool is on it properly down there. So, look at that. Trims have now gone up a little bit and obviously they're evening out. Minus 9.2 long term, positive 9 on short term. Oxygen sensors working normally, so we know we've found the issue. We're suspecting this purge valve is stuck open. So first thing I'll do is I will disconnect the plug to make sure it's not being commanded open. The plug is now off. So what I'll do is I'll let go of the pliers now, and we know these purge valves should be normally closed. So if I let this go with the plug disconnected, there should be no flow into the intake at all. So I'll let it go and let's see what happens. There we go. Fully rich, trims maxed out. So we know this purge valve is definitely stuck open. I'm gonna pull it off and we'll have a look at it. Okay guys, this is the old one. I can't really show you, I can't really hold the camera and, and blow this at the same time, but it's completely stuck open. I can blow straight through that when it's meant to be normally closed. Genuine Hyundai part. Let's go look at the car. So, as you can see, down there, brand new one is on. Let's start this up and see what we find. So, we are now running with the new purge valve on. Let's see if there's any other issues with this car. So, let's give it a go. See what we find. Collecting data. Let's just let that sit there. Let's get the O2s up. Let's look at short term fuel trim and look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Oxygen sensors working completely normally. Short term fuel trim is obviously a little bit high because the long terms are still a little bit negative. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the fuel trims or disconnect the battery if I have to to get that back to zero and start from fresh and road test it if there's any issues. Hey guys, just wanted to show you that I've gone for a big extended drive in this thing and then I've left it running here for a while just to make sure all is good and look at that oxygen sensor, looks beautiful. No codes in the system and look at that short term fuel trim just hovering around that zero mark. Absolutely what we like to see. That is definitely a fix. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found something informative here.